Hello everyone, this is John with Ziptopia.org. Today we are going to create a custom Kali Linux ISO file that includes only the tools that we are interested in. Before we start, a big thank you to the offensive security folks for improving Kali Linux every day and making these tools available to the public for free. If you install Kali Linux from the ISO files or images available at Kali.org, you end up with a lot of tools covering a lot of areas like voice over IP, web applications, hacking wireless networks, and so on. That's great, but if you are just interested in one area, like voice over IP, would it not be better and more cleaner only the voice over IP tools showing up in your Kali Linux installation? Why would you want to go through hundreds of tools to locate the voice over IP tools you are interested in? This is where a custom Kali Linux ISO file comes into play. The following simple steps will create a Kali Linux ISO file with only the tools that you are interested in. Naturally, while we cover voice over IP tools in this video, the same approach can be used to create custom installations based on other specific areas like wireless networks, forensics, password cracking, web applications, and so on. First of all, it is important that you use an already installed Kali Linux instance to create this ISO file. If you don't know how to install a freely available Kali Linux instance, please go over one of our previous tutorials named Installing Kali Linux on Oracle VirtualBox. We will put these commands in the description of this video. Now, we install the required packages for this custom build. Some of these might be already installed in your environment. But to make sure everything is covered, please use this following command. It's going to take some time to install these and I'm going to fast forward to avoid wasting your time. Next, we download the live build config tool from Kali.org. All right, so once you are done, you will notice the live build config folder. Change directory to that folder. Now use the following VI command or any other text editor to open the list of packages. Please note that this command only makes this change for GNOME desktop environment you need to use the same command with different desktop environments if you are planning to install them. Simply replace GNOME with KDE to modify the KDE environment, for example. This is where we determine what to include in our custom Kali Linux ISO. By default, it includes the Kali Linux full package. We will command out Kali Linux full and uncomment voice over IP here. As we mentioned before, if you are interested in any other topic here, you can simply uncomment that section and just include those tools in your Kali Linux ISO file. With VI Editor, pressing on I puts you in inserting mode where you can make these changes. Once done, hit Escape 
to end uh, inserting mode and type column v for write q for quit to get out of that file finally depending on what desktop environment you like which is norm in this video type and hit enter. Now this tool will download all the respective packages and build your custom ISO file. It will take some time so I'm going to fast forward this section. Depending on your internet connection, this could take more than an hour. Now at the end of the day, we have created an ISO file. Let's find the ISO file. All right, this is where the ISO file is. And when you install a new Kali Linux instance using that ISO file, you'll notice that you now only have the tools that are associated with voice over IP. And that's the end of our tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.